All right, so as we venture down the rabbit hole of the F450, I gotta show you guys something that I've had trouble with and I don't think I'm the only one, is getting these giant ornamental caps off. So the front one's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you how to do that one. The rear one is a booger bear. So let's start with the easy one first. So the front one, you just use your factory toolkit here and the regular cab, it's right behind the driver's seat. I'll go ahead and pull it out. So in the factory toolkit, this is it. It's, it's normally got this large wing nut. Uh, the larger section of the wing nut is towards the front of the truck. I made a mark on mine to where I wouldn't forget. It just goes through this little burnt hole here. So let's step back to the tailgate real quick. Oh, while we're here. So you can see the rear. That, that's without its ornamental cap. Then take a look at the front. Oh, it just looks so manly. It's so beefy. So I really like the look of that. So I'll show you what tools you use for the front. And we got the rear staged up so you can kind of see how that goes. But the rear is a booger. I did mess this one up, by the way. So, all right, front's out of the way. This is what you use. So this is in your factory toolkit. You can see that this has the rubber on, or plastic on it. And so when this is on the wheel, you can just get in right in there. You see the little, slot you get right in and you can just pop it off just be careful obviously your painted finish or whatever but uh it was it was no trouble it went real smooth this one's got a total of six of the clips holding it so it seemed to come off a little bit easier the rear on the other hand put this out of the way so the rear actually has eight so it only leaves you two free which conveniently are opposite of these two slots so the way it doesn't tell you how to do it in an owner's manual and i think i think this is what they give you to do it's right here this little plasticky bit it's got a ford part number on it but i've already dinged ours up so and i'll show you how if everything all right so flip this back in here this end this is a slot this goes in push that down and that locks on. All right, it's kind of a booger to get back off, so I'm not sliding it on. But then using this, all right, we'll go around and just show how it goes. If this were up in there, you can reach through, and I think that's made for prying, but let me show you what happened. <sighs> Ouch. So that was me using a hose tool. Granted, that's not the correct tool for the job. And uh, the hose tool slipped. And so I dinged it all to heck. Then I went to this, I broke this. That didn't work either. So we're really having a time, but we, as you can tell, we were able to get it off. And let me show you how we did it. You can get yourself some sort of chintzy little straps. We just went to Northern Tool, picked these up. These were eight bucks. But the big thing is they're vinyl coated and it's small here. Now, unfortunately, these are Chinese made. I don't really go for that. And we had one at home, so we didn't need this. So this gets to get returned. But if you're getting it as a tool to use on your truck, $8, honestly, is not a lot to spend. So now we're all staged up here on how we did it. So this is how we have done it. I use the two by four to pry. Now, the camera operator has been my second help, and they've been here, hand kind of here just to keep it from flying off. But it just works like this. You just, so the two by four, non-marring, it's up against the tire anyway, some pressure here, and it takes a decent bit, but some pressure here, and that thing will pop off. I'm using a jack stand on that side just to keep my, you know, keep my board in the right place. And I, I did it facing forward because of the mud flat back there. I couldn't, I couldn't do it that way. So this is how we've done it and it worked great. Uh, popped off a little more pressure than you'd imagine, but honestly with eight lugs, it's gonna have some pressure to it. So eight lugs, but this two by four, if I had to guess about four foot long and all rigged up, that's how we've done it. So everybody's having struggles for $8 your troubles can go away. So we did get that one popped off. It went way easier. So definitely learn from my mistakes. So these are the two slots that we just used with those and there's absolutely no damage. So if you're concerned about damaging anything, these are the two slots we use. I don't know if you want to put something like this in your side of the road repair kit, 
but I cannot imagine being on the side of the interstate fighting with this, to be honest. That would really be a booger. So, anyhow, eight bucks and a two by four, and you can do it without damaging anything, it appears. It's way easier, that's the way to do it. So, good luck out there, y'all.